Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Millie and if you're new here, I am, I think, almost seven months into recovery from anorexia. I thought it might be kind of interesting, now that I'm nearing the seven month mark, to take a look at some of my old what I eat in a day TikToks and comment on them. Now, these are clearly going to depict not enough food. I want to make that clear right from the get-go. I am not eating enough in these videos. If you think seeing this is going to be harmful for your journey, click off now. Use your own judgment. You know what's going to be best for you, but make sure you listen to the real you and not the eating disorder. It's probably going to want to continue watching, even if you know it's going to trigger you. Let's get started with the first one. Okay, so we've got a party. I remember this day. So having some, we took some sugar. I've not had that in a long time, actually. That's one of my favourites. That's just not a lunch, is it? Just some couscous. Oh, let's not look at that. I'm going to cover that. Where's the rest of the video? And that's it. This is not enough. And you can't even see, like, the quantity here. So it's, like, quite deceptive because you don't know how much popcorn I had. I don't really remember now, but I know it's, that's not enough. And what was that lunch? Not enough. Not enough. Oh, this is the next day. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Look at me. I feel like there's a lot of deception going on here. Um, where's breakfast? Where's lunch? You know, I had a Nature Valley bar. That is like not... And this hot chocolate. Hot chocolate's been such a fear for me and it, it still is and it's something that I'm really trying to challenge. But that there, okay, that's a small, first of all, it's a small. Second of all, I guarantee you I did not have whole milk in that. And yet, where is... That is three snacks there I've had. Well, maybe two if we combine the hot chocolate and the baby bell. Where is the meals? Huh, she's back with the couscous. I just don't think this is a helpful video for anyone. No one needs to see me crying eating couscous. That's, and that's it. That is not a helpful video. That didn't need to be posted. I'm actually ashamed. I guess I'm not angry at myself because I do know that on a lot of these days I really was trying my hardest. But even still, like, there's no need to post videos like this. I think that's what really gets me is that if you know you could be trying harder and you know you're not really pushing yourself, why are you sharing that content? You're giving a false impression of what recovery is. There wasn't one full meal in that video. And I just think that is unhelpful to show to a wide platform, especially on TikTok, where it can be seen by anyone. And I know there are big content creators out there on TikTok who are doing this. Okay, they are doing this and they have way more followers than me and they are showing this false impression of recovery, especially labelling it as all in, which we'll get to I'm sure, but labelling that as all in when it clearly isn't is so unhelpful and so damaging and anyone, especially young impressionable girls or boys who see that and are eating more because they likely are if they're really all in, they're gonna think they're doing something wrong. I look back on this and I know I could have pushed harder and I am disappointed. All right, so what have we got here? That's true, actually, that isn't an eating disorder behavior. I've always hated loads of milk in my cereal. A hurry, we're facing something here. Yep. I'm still scared of tea, I need to incorporate it. Here I am again, facing butter. I mean, it's not a lot, but I think this is a bit later. This might have been September now. <laughs> yeah, no, I think this is early September. Oh, yeah, because I was trying to slowly increase numbers. That was a dinner. Um, I've got a lot to say about this. Is that it? Oh, nope, she had another snack. A yoghurt and some jelly tops. Well, yeah, I like that at the end. Recovery is harbour restriction is deadly. I think this was the point where I started to 
really slowly incorporate changes that I felt comfortable with. I still don't think this is should this should have been on TikTok, but you can start to see some changes here. Um, you know, having some butter, some sugar in my tea, that dinner, now that wouldn't even be a lunch, you know, salad with one tiny mac and cheese ball. Overall, I mean, we're still lacking basically everything. Um, really awful, nowhere near enough food, but I can see that there's been a little change here from the last two that we looked at. I thought it'd be interesting to maybe say about how I would have had this now. So the breakfast, fine, it's a small packet. I would have definitely had something else with the tea now. So like some biscuits or Trek bar wouldn't be me without a Trek bar. Lunch, buttered toast and pombers. I mean, could have made that buttered toast into a sandwich. I don't even think we had an afternoon snack. We had watermelon, so definitely watermelon with something, maybe like some chocolate because I always have something chocolatey in the afternoon now. Dinner, okay, add like five more of those mac and cheese balls and like a carb, like some rice or <laughs> some couscous from the last video. Okay, take the couscous from the last one, put it with the salad and add a few more mac and cheese balls. I probably have that now. And then dessert was like very small yogurt and some jelly tots. So I definitely need a bigger dessert, like an entire cake. <laughs> this one's funny. Shout out to Millie. I don't know if you watch my YouTube videos, but <laughs> I love those multi-grain shapes. I really want to buy more, actually. Oh, why am I crying so much? And why am I saying that I'm crying? It's unhelpful. Ah, okay. First of all, the crying, shut up, no one cares. Second of all, here, today, I actually had sandwich filling. Okay, we're doing all right. I mean, I missed morning snack, but lunch seems okay. One biscuit's measly. Two of that would have been morning snack. And is this dinner? Okay, that was appalling. That was appalling. Let's let's rearrange it. Okay, so breakfast fine, cereal. Morning snack, I think take the yogurt, the yogurt, yogurt, and the biscuit, and add more biscuits, morning snack. Lunch, okay. Now we're missing afternoon snack, so something there. Dinner, what was that? This was not a very good video, and it was not helpful to share. Oh, good God. Why is this? Why did I post this? It's just not okay, is it? Huh. Wow, yum. It was not yum. Good God. One measly slice of toast. No butter. And a small can of spaghetti hoops. That wouldn't even be a lunch now let alone a dinner, and where is the rest of the food? This is not what recovery is. I was clearly not really in recovery at this point, and it upsets me that I was labelling this. I might do one or two more of these, but we're going to skip forward now, and this is spooky season, so we've moved forward in time a little bit. Um, so we've got croissant. Oh, this is when I got my vaccine. That was a tremendous day, God. This is moving so fast, but there's no food. All right, bagels, okay. Why are we zooming in? Oh, protein shake. That was a big deal, because I'm still scared. Oh, oil, oh, we challenged a lot today. Okay, so I think every meal there, every meal was a challenge. Like the croissant with the biscoff, um, the protein shake, um, having two bagels, although those were the thin bagels I recognise, so that's a bit, I didn't advertise that, did I? And then the gyoza in the oil. So everything was a challenge, but overall that just wasn't enough. I think it would have been more helpful to do less challenges, actually, but eat more overall, if that makes sense. I think this might be the last one of this format we look at and then I've got two that I just want to check in with. So we've got some protein bar and some coffee. It's still love coffee, okay. Okay, I've got some comments there, let's pause it. So 
okay, that was breakfast, it was just a protein bar. Now that would be a snack, we need a breakfast. And lunch looks okay, but it's really deceptive because that was a small wrap. If that was a big wrap, that would be a decent lunch that I'd have now. Eat, that would have been an easy switch to make. Back at it with the gyoza, um, to be fair, I'd still have that for dinner now. It's a small dinner, but I would still have that now. And then a dessert, I guess. Yeah, so this one was almost Halloween now. You can definitely see progress in the other ones we've looked at. Breakfast is really missing. Lunch, I'm clearly still having minis, like mini bagel, mini wrap. If that was a big wrap, that would be okay. And then we're missing an afternoon snack. And then dinner is something I still have. And then dessert's kind of there. So I guess it's not awful. It does need to be bulked up a bit with a bigger lunch, a bigger after, well, there isn't an afternoon snack. So an afternoon snack and an actual decent breakfast. But can you start to see the changes? I still don't think I'm at a level where I should be sharing this content. And I know I didn't see any here, but I did go through a phase of labelling things all in. And like I said, I really don't think I should be labelling this all in because I know for a fact and calorie counting and weighing portions, that isn't all in. And it's really harmful to share that as all in. Now I just want to watch one from my partner's birthday, which is the end of November. So this would be interesting. So I went to the ED clinic first, whatever. Crump it for breakfast with butter. Now that's a deal for me. Look, a decent lunch. We've got a wrap, some rice cakes and some gyoza. What is it with the gyoza? To be fair, I do love gyoza. And then dinner was, look at this, amazing. I really want to go back there. I think it's called V-Burger in, in London. Okay, this is really interesting. So that was, I think that's an okay day. I would definitely be eating more now because I've progressed a lot since then. But for that time of end of November, that's an okay day and I'm happy to share that, I think. And what's really interesting is I was still quite early, I guess, in terms of increasing food there. Um, and I couldn't stomach all of it. One thing that people notice is that often when you've been reducing or eating minimal calories is that your stomach actually shrinks a bit. So for a long time, if I was having a big meal, like big, substantial meal like that, or even like Nando's or a whole pizza, which I did have on other days, I had to eat it slowly throughout the course of like several hours. I still eat it, like you saw here, I reheated it when I got home, but I really just couldn't hold that much food in my tummy even though I really wanted to. What's really interesting now is I reckon I could have that no problem. <laughs> so that really shows to me a lot of progress and I don't think that was a harmful one to share. And let's wrap up here with one that's different. So come to my final ED clinic meeting of 2021. So this was just before Christmas of 2021. And that's it. It's just a 15 second clip of information that I don't think anyone really needs to know. This doesn't need to go on someone's For You page. They're not gonna gain anything from seeing this. That doesn't help anyone. I don't think anyone needs to be sharing information about their medical appointments and the outcome of that because all you're doing is adding competition to the recovery community. Not everyone has the privilege of accessing support from the actual eating disorder team in the way that I've been so lucky to have been able to access. And I just don't think you're adding anything. You're just making people feel invalid because it's just adding to the, I'm not sick enough. I think it was worthwhile to, I suppose, reflect on the progress I've made. Some of these videos were from really early in August at the very start of me recognising the problem but I really wasn't committed to recovery. I don't think it's helpful, beneficial or supportive to be sharing content labelled as recovery if you are not fully committed to recovery. And I'm really glad I've come a long way from there and I'm able to recognise now 
that that was triggering, it was harmful, and I'm really glad I've taken it down. But if you're someone who saw my early content, I'm really sorry if that affected you. So I'm going to go and have another snack now. Um, thank you for watching, and as always, lots of love. I'm always here for you. You're doing amazing.